Hey everyone, my name is Megan and this is Painted and Distressed. Today I'm going to show you how to make some super easy, spooky Halloween DIYs. Should you have any last minute plans or party and you want to make your house extra spooky, this video is for you. So this first project, I'm going to take these arrows that I got from the dollar store and I am going to paint a couple of them black using chalk paint and I just reverse them so the other side of them still has the paper on them but I do end up taking the paper off because um, I was going to have this go outside and um, a lot of times the paper when it's outside ends up kind of losing its adhesiveness and um, so I do end up taking all of that on the back, but I don't bore you guys by showing you all of that. So two of the arrows, I painted this really pretty dark purple color. This is just an acrylic paint. So this did need a good, I don't know, three, four coats um, because it's not that opaque. And then one of the arrows, I just painted orange using chalk paint. And then I just got out my Cricut and I just wrote out some spooky Halloween street names I guess so one I did Elm Street um, and then another Halloween town because my daughter is obsessed <laughs> with um, Nightmare Before Christmas so of course I had to include that and um, Salem because what you know what is a Halloween sign without mentioning Salem And you don't have to use a Cricut for this. You can most definitely use stencils or even stickers for this. Um, I just have happen to have a bunch of, of vinyl in these really cool Halloween colors that I've actually never used before. And so I just figured I might as well use them. And um, so after I got all of the vinyl on the arrows, then I also wanted because this is going outside I wanted to make sure that all of the paint and the vinyl is going to adhere and not come off and so I did take some varnish um, that's meant for outdoors and I gave it two coats on each arrow and that'll ensure that it stays on so for the top of the directional sign I took this styrofoam skeleton head because I wanted to make it as spooky as possible and I'm just painting it using some chalk paint. This did take two coats um, and I'm just painting it using a dark gray color. And then I did go over it with some metallic silver paint um, but this step is really not necessary because you can't really tell <laughs> because it's a very very sheer paint so it was kind of a waste. And then I found these really cool, creepy eyes from the dollar store. Um, they are tea lights, but I just took them apart and um, because you have to twist them in order to turn them on. And since I was going to, since I'm super gluing them and hot gluing them to the skeleton head, there's, there wasn't, I mean, I guess I could have been really creative and made it so I could light them up, but I didn't want to. <laughs> so anyways, I just used a combination of hot glue and um, super glue to attach them to make sure they do not move. And then for the directional signs, I just had this dowel rod sitting in my garage. And so I'm taking a combination of E6000 hot glue and painter's tape. And that way it just ensures that they do not go anywhere. And so here's a little close up of it. I did put a little witch hat on his head as well. This is so you can get a really good idea of what it looks like. And all of the kids and my neighbors in our neighborhood have really loved 
looking at this sign. This next project, I had this leftover, to me it's a pool noodle, but it's actually um, this insulation stuff you can get from Home Depot, and I had some leftover, so I decided to make a wreath out of it since it was already black and easy to work with. And then I'm just taking this black feather boa, and I'm just hot gluing it, wrapping it around. And, um, and then I had this bird, or this crow, um, that I have had for a while and so I just decided to attach him to it as well and um, I did end up taking that moss out because I didn't like the way it looked but I am using some clear wire to wrap him around and then I used a whole bunch of hot glue and this is how it came out this was super easy and fun and I actually like the way it came out um, it's not a full circle um, <laughs> I had trouble making it a full circle because I'm still recovering from my wrist accident and surgery, so <laughs> my dexterity is not 100% yet. And this last project, I got this really big um, wood creepy ghost, and so I gave it two coats of white chalk paint, and then now I'm just going to take my paint pen and I'm going to highlight all of the details so the eyes the mouth um, just to give it an even more spooky appearance I had a hard time deciding of what I was actually going to do with this because the possibilities are kind of endless and it's a really decent size too um, but I decided to just kind of kind of make it a little simple especially since Again, I am still recovering, so <laughs> um, trying to gain my mobility and dexterity back. Um, and so just going around it, I just decided to make kind of like little stitches. This to me kind of looks like Oogie Boogie from Nightmare Before Christmas. And um, so I kind of made it like, I guess, a dollar store version of it and painted it white. And then I just made kind of like little stitches on him as well. And then I just got out this really old, um, it was like burned in the sun, <laughs> um, this wood cutout says Happy Halloween on it. So I just painted the Happy Halloween part black using chalk paint. And uh, you can see that it got really bleached in the, not bleached, but discolored in the sun. Um, it was in a storage bin. And so it got real discolored. And then I just used some bright orange to paint the pumpkin. And then I just added a little white wax on top to kind of give it a real dirty look, um, creepy-ish, I guess, um, look to everything. And then once that was dry, I got out my glow-in-the-dark paint um, and because I thought it would be really cool at night to see just the happy Halloween glow. Um, but I don't think this paint actually works. Um, maybe I just use it wrong. I don't know. But I have yet to see it glow. So then I just hot glued it to the front of the ghost. And then I took a little foam pumpkin and I cut it in half. and then I just hot glued it to his hand. And I toned down the orange a little bit by using a little bit of white wax um, just to kind of go with the other pumpkin that's on him. And then I did spray paint it using a white clear matte spray paint because it is outside. And this is how it turned out. And I have him hanging by our Oogie Boogie. <laughs> and it's just a fun, cute decor piece to add to our outside. And I thank you so much for joining me with this quick Halloween DIY video. Next up is Christmas. I hope you're ready. And make sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. And I will catch you on the next one. Bye.